C is for cauldron. Look how cute it is. Ah. This is my first witchy tool that I ever picked up to really get into my craft. And I'm immediately obsessed and I've been obsessed ever since. And this one's great because it's just tiny, clearly like fits in the palms of all of my hands. Little lid, cast iron, perfect, especially for apartment living because I moved back into this, my house with my parents. I was in a tiny, tiny apartment and it was like, well, I want to be able to do more fire magic stuff. I want it to be more aesthetically pleasing than like just a random pot that I use from uh, cooking and stuff like that. So I spent the money, got myself a little cauldron, and I absolutely love it. Cauldron's kind of representative, I believe, of the womb in some respect. In, in the womb, there's creation, and into the cauldron, things are released, burned, created, magic is... Uh, cultivate. I know some people do like more liquid stuff. Mostly what my cauldron's used for is all fire magic and I absolutely love it. Like things get burnt in it all the time. Uh, one of my favorite things to do is actually to write out a written spell or I'll draw out a spell in more of a sketching spell sense and then I will sit down and just um, light it on fire as a way to release or um, sacrifice in a way. Sacrifice the piece of paper to kind of envelop my needs and I just like incense to it I feel like I have also I light incense on an incense holder type of deal but when I do a little cone incense inside of my cauldron I feel like it's a very deep relation in a sense to my matron and that type of deal that's way more of a, a ritual donation of giving to her in a sense as opposed to say um just burning a stick of incense for her um i did the same thing kind of with loki there are times where i just like kind of like, watch the flames on my altar there's many different things that i will give as an offering i will either give you know a lot of rose petals for persephone sometimes i'll put even pomegranate seeds in there and almost the liquid kind of bubble and pop and stuff like that uh loki i kind of just take a combination of the ashes that have combinated kind of in my idea of chaos is like a combination of everything in my craft and I'll reuse them a lot. I've kind of mentioned before my compounding magic video all about taking in the ashes and reusing them in a lot of things. I anoint myself with it, I anoint books with it, I anoint um, different candles with it. Those ashes are kind of for me the remnants of every bit of magic I've used since I pretty much, almost every single spell I do something has the cauldron involved in some way, shape, or form. So those ashes that come from this on the inside, like it's still got some stuff in there right now. I got some rose petals and a couple other things going on in there. Pretty awesome in the sense. And I love the idea of the smoke that comes from it too. It's very on um, fire and air to me, very active, very like doing of the magic. Not so much of a passivity of a flow. It's very, very active, very immediate, quick type of deal. Um, where other things where I'm like focusing more on crystals or in meditation of that nature, if I want something to go quick, I immediately use my cauldron. It is my coat too. And it's also one of those things where, in my idea, the most cliche, like when I think of like pop culture before I really got into paganism and everything, like there's always the witch bubbling over the cauldron type of deal. It was one of those things I was kind of shocked that it was uh, a real thing that a lot of witches used along with a wand. But I'd used wands before and it wasn't really a thing I got into, but the minute I held the cauldron, the minute I was burning things in the cauldron, watching the smoke, you know, using it as a real tool in my craft, it was something I felt a lot of palpability with. And it was something that really just magnified uh, whatever I was doing with my magic. It was something that just like, whoop, like it just had to contain everything. And everything I've read up about it in history too, it being a representative of, I think the chalice is also another thing that people use as a, like a womb in a lot of senses. I've read a bit of both in different places, but the cauldron just being this place of real big amalgamation of every bit of my magic in the craft all into one is pretty damn awesome and that's why I love it. It's probably my favorite witchy tool of all things. Seems very basic as a pick C for cauldron type of deal, but I'm so like, I love it. I love it so much. It is one of those things where eventually I would love uh, one day to buy a real bigger one. Um, that'll be something when I have like a really nice house, the really nice altar setup and everything where I have the space to do something like that. That's probably one thing I would love to invest in is a nice big cast iron cauldron. But this is perfectly fine for me for right now. And it's perfect for as I'm wanting to move around to different apartments, different cities. It's really easy to pack up. It's quite hefty in like weight, but nothing too bad. Like really easy to take along with me. And I don't know, there's something about the magic that comes from a cauldron. It really does get back to that classic witchness for me. It really uh, triggers something in me that feels in that like sacred magnified space. It just makes it that much more palpable, that much more just like electrified. Like I feel like I'm connecting to something 
old and used for centuries upon centuries. Um, for me, that's what really connects it with me. So it's a tool that works very well with me, but at the same time is something that is old and that many different people have used for a huge amount of time, where I don't necessarily find a huge connection with a lot of things that I've read as like the classic, um, like the classic Wiccan altar setup with the cla like certain things like I don't feel a lot of connection to. I like having an altar in a space I go to, but it's way more shifty and constantly changing for me as opposed to like the traditional setup that a lot of you know you just read in all, a lot of different like uh, beginner Wiccan books or beginner witch books it's all about like this is how you set up like that one is a bit that setup is not so big for me but this tool is like the one tool out of all of them that I like immediately saw and I was like you know I really want one and I'm really really happy I spent the money on it to purchase one and to use it in my craft all the time because it has given me fantastic benefits so, so what are some things that you guys burn in your cauldrons what's what ways you use your cauldrons for it's one thing I'm always excited about is how to adapt more cauldron use in magic. If you guys have some really awesome ways that you are using your cauldrons, I use it mostly for fire magic, so I'm kind of thinking of possibly doing some more like potiony stuff in it, like light, lights, lightly. Nothing I would necessarily consume, but like maybe like a, a tonic or an oil or something. Who knows? I don't. I'm really not sure what else. I could be using it for, but I'm really interested to look. So if you have any suggestions, advice, different ways you use your cauldrons if you have them, down below. Or if you really don't like your cauldron, if there's something where you're like, you know what, cauldron magic didn't work for me. What's what's some of the reasons for that? What are some ways where you're like, you know what, I tried it this and it didn't vibe for me right? All of those down below in the lovely comments. Anyway, I make new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.